twice a week, Jamie Huber, who is this reporter's son, gets ready for Taekwondo class. This week is no exception. But instead of leaving home to take class, he's doing it remotely via Zoom. Taekwondo. The video conferencing platform allows Jamie to see and hear his teacher, Master An, as well as the other students. Some 1.5 billion children are now out of school worldwide because of the coronavirus pandemic. Many are turning to technology to learn and stay connected. For Zoom, the crisis has been a boon. After TikTok, it's the second most downloaded app in the world. Zoom stock is listed on the NASDAQ. It's one of the rare stocks to pop amid the coronavirus outbreak. While the broader markets have tanked in recent weeks, Zoom's shares have soared. Adults like Christine Kiernan are using it for work and pleasure. I never heard of Zoom before the coronavirus uh, crisis. Uh, my yoga teacher told me about it. He decided he'd start offering classes online and I thought, hey, I'm stuck at home. Uh, I'm going to give this a try. While there are other video conferencing platforms, it appears Zoom is the most popular during this crisis. I think it's become apparent that Zoom offers perhaps the easiest to use solution for a variety of different types of companies and users and that's really compelling in an environment where people just want to connect and be able to get their work done. Kiernan says it's also a good option for taking classes. You know it's not the same as a real class by a long shot but you know when you're trapped inside your apartment and you can't go anywhere um, I'd say it's fantastic. Jamie misses the real deal, but says under the current circumstances, it'll do. You can't go the actual place, so it's better than nothing, though. Karina Huber, CGTN, New York.